Christ's disciples had set out on one of their frequent journeys across the Sea of Galilee. The night was dark and the elements were strong and contrary. The waves were boisterous and the wind was bold and these mortal frail men were frightened. Unfortunately, <clears throat> there was no one of them to calm and save them for Jesus had been left alone upon the shore. As always, he was watching over them. He loved them and cared for them. In their moment of greatest extremity, they looked and saw in the darkness an image in a fluttering robe walking toward them on the ridges of the sea. They cried out in terror at the sight, thinking that it was a phantom that walked upon the waves. And through the storm and darkness to them, as so often to us, when amid the darkness of life, the ocean seems so great and our little boat so small, there came the ultimate and reassuring voice of peace with this simple declaration. It is I. Be not afraid. Peter explained, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And Christ's answer to him was the same as to all of us. Come. Peter sprang over the vessel's side and into the troubled waves. And while his eyes were fixed upon the Lord, the wind might toss his hair and the spray might drench his robes, but all was well. Only when the wavering faith, with wavering faith, he removed his glance from the Master. To look at the furious waves and the black gulf beneath him, only then, then did he begin to sink. Again, like most of us, he cried, Lord, save me. Nor did Jesus fail him. He stretched out his hand and grasped the drowning disciple with the gentle rebuke. O oh, thou of little faith, why didst thou doubt? Then safely aboard their little craft, they saw the wind fall and the crash of the waves become a ripple. Soon they were at their haven, their safe port, where all would one day hope to be. The crew, as well as the disciples, were filled with deep amazement. Some of them addressed him by a title which I declare today, truly thou art the Son of God. In my, it is my firm belief that as individual people, as families, communities, and nations, we could, like Peter, fix our eyes on Jesus. We too might walk triumphantly over the swelling waves of disbelief and remain unterrified amid the rising winds of doubt. But if we turn away our eyes from Him, in whom we must believe, as it is so easy to do and the world is so much tempted to do, if we look to the power and fury of those terrible and destructive elements around us, rather than to Him who can help and save us, then we shall inevitably sink in a sea of conflict and sorrow and despair. 
At such times when we feel the floods are threatening to drown us, and the deep is going to swallow up the tossed vessel of our faith, I pray we may always hear, amid the storm and the darkness, that sweet utterance of the Savior of the world, be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. <laughs>